Origins of the Ndebele in Zimbabwe The Ndebele are descendants of the Kumalo people who lived under the rule of Shaka in present-day South Africa. They got their name Debele during their association with the Soto people in the Transvaal region. The name Debele meant strangers from the coast. The breakaway of the Ndebele from Shaka has been attributed to their leader Muzilikazi who ruled for 50 plus years. Muzilikazi was a chief under Shaka until about 1820 when they fell into a dispute regarding spoils of war. The dispute led to battles with Shaka's army and eventually forced them to migrate more than 1,500 kilometers north. Their first settlement was at Ukupumuleni where they raided the Soto and Pedi. Due to the drought that ensued that year, they began to raid more and more of their neighbors, even going as far as the Limpopo to raid Shona Kettle. Muzilikazi crossed into Zimbabwe in 1838. They split into two groups, one led by Muzilikazi, the other by Gundwane. Gundwane Ndiweni and Nkulumane, the heir, traveled and settled close to modern-day Bulawayo, which is Zimbabwe's second largest city. The second group, led by Muzilikazi, tried to settle in present-day Zambezi Valley, but had to retreat because of the problems associated with tsetse flies that killed their herd. The group, led by Gundwane, subdued the Rosy state and even demanded tribute in the form of labor and cattle. Muzilikazi's group also attacked and subdued the Tswana and Kalanga. However, when they finally met up again, some of the leaders within Gundwane's group were resisting Muzilikazi's rule. As a result, many were killed and Kulumane was driven down across the Limpopo. Muzilikazi then retained dominance over the, over the Ndebele people. The land occupied by the Ndebele has been previously inhabited by the Changamire state since the 12th century. The only outside interference they've experienced was with the Portuguese, Swahili, and other traders. Other groups that settled in previously Shona areas include the Soshangane, who settled in the southeast, Zwangendaba, who defeated the Rosi state, but it was Muzilikazi who finally defeated the powerful Changamire Rosi state.